we just pulled on to what rows that you remember and we look at this right in a row we're seeing all the action the action of almond country so beautiful so uh yeah it's just time to drive around we're gonna see what we see and if it was me and i saw someone youtubing <laughs> in lancaster i would tune in because i love it here so we're just gonna give it a try and see if anyone catches on but it's a really pretty day here it's sunday the 26th and it's very it's been actually been really cloudy here this week we've been visiting pennsylvania and seeing our family for christmas but today is a really pretty day and we're gonna try to go down to uh, dutch wonderland later but look here's the old church with the outhouse even that might be a school my bad it's a school and here's a nice old strong workhorse to say hi to hello sir <laughs> this makes me happy just driving around makes me happy and hit this beautiful area of Lancaster. If you look down there, you can see a pretty good amount of buggies, which means it may either be a buggy repair shop or they had church there today. That is a big possibility. That is really cool. Oh, look at them. Oh, you know what that is? It's a road spring. I bet you any money it's a, it's a singing where the young people get together and they have singing. Oh my gosh, I have never seen one. Honestly, I've never seen the youth gather on Sunday night anywhere. I bet you that's what that is. No. <laughs> I mean, I would love to go there and live stream, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't like that. <laughs> but that's so cool. I've never seen those like a youth singing. Where the youth get together on some Sundays, I'm not sure how often, once a month, or there's the Amish Village giving their tours. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, look at that. See, I love streams. I love little street. Look at that pretty shot with the sunset. Ah, it's beautiful here. So yeah, that, that is awesome that we have an actual youth singing area. I guarantee you that's what that was, because there was a whole bunch of smaller like they were smaller carriages they were like the regular buggies and then you saw the two youth guys going there was that guy holding a guitar kind of like a it looked like an instrument case honestly oh my gosh those are cows running and we're hitting the mother load today wow <laughs> Have been seriously <laughs> it's not every day you see cows running <laughs> no you don't you do not see cows running that often oh they're, see they're done it lasted like three seconds but we were like I didn't know what to expect. We thought we'd just try it. We got in here late today and uh, wasn't sure we could even make it today, but this is awesome. And here's another buggy. Oh my gosh, there's little kids playing. There's the backs of them, so I don't feel bad filming. It's just the backs of them, but they're so adorable. Oh my gosh, and a little puppy, so cute. Merry Christmas, Melissa. Yes, we had a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you too. Look at that. That's a lot of corn. Hi, cows. Hello! It's a beautiful day, isn't it? See, this is, this is my place. I love this place. Look how pretty that is. Oh, him, he's getting up. He wanted to say hi. He was getting up. <laughs> so we're behind the buggy. This is, don't see that every day. We'll wait till they go to the stop sign. Oh, there's more coming. I'm telling you, I bet any money is because that is a youth thing and they're all getting dropped off. We should go by again. Except they're leaving. Maybe they dropped them off already. We should go by again. Not like right now, but later. Oh, there's a white horse. Ooh, that's really unusual. Oh, you don't see that every day. No, you don't. I, I, I'm not sure I've ever seen. We are enjoying, uh, I guess, for Mel, or Melanie. I'm so happy to be here. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you. But look at that. A white horse leading a buggy. And there's one in the background. And there's one right here. <laughs> Three in one shot. Almost. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this white horse. He's cool. Look, how, look at him gliding effortlessly down the road. Oh, man. That, this is awesome. Oh, my gosh. Such a pretty up. horse. Um, sure, go to the right. That way we, this guy probably was following him. Um. <laughs> Plus, we'll go into the sunset, which is really pretty. I wondered if Lancaster County would be visiting on a Sunday night because of... This is their visiting day, and so they usually, this is their day off, and they have more time to go do stuff, and I was hoping we'd see some buggies. Hello! So pretty funny. I can't tell what you're seeing, but I can't tell what you're seeing. Beautiful, beautiful Amish country.
Valley for you. The big valley of farmland. You can see for miles here. This is a really good shot up here. Well, right now it's not. we are seeing the dirt. If I lean this thing too far out the window, you're going to hear a lot of wind. So I'm trying to... Well, we, we did have a good shot until the hills overtook us again. Sorry, you might have to hang in there with me during this stream because it's probably going to lag sometimes. Not the best connection out here in Amish country. Intentional <laughs> legs. You're an Amish man. Yeah, intentional legs. Not really. There's no buggy up here. We're going to catch him. There's more little buggies and carriages lined up. So yeah, just be patient when it lags because it's it'll probably go in and out at times with the connection here. Here's another buggy. We've seen a good amount since we've been back these back roads. We went to uh, Hershey Farm for dinner, a real quick dinner. They uh, closed at four. Well, they had the last seating at three. We got there about 2.40 and we left about 3.45 and they were closing. So we had a good time. It was really good food. That was my first time going to Hershey Farm. I really liked it. Hello. Here goes another one. You can wait here. Let that guy go by you. Um, and then I would just, I would actually, oh, this is Strasburg. So go take a left and we'll just go by the, we'll go by the railroad tracks then. Some of these back roads I know pretty well. Some I don't. It's a pretty horse. The horses around here are just gorgeous. They're very strong, lean, pretty horses. All right, so we come to 741, which I believe takes you to Strasburg because I think that's that's the railroad. Maybe um, that could be that that. Uh, um, just go straight for now. <laughs> I'll try to think of if that's the. Uh, oh yeah, there's a choo choo barn right down there. Okay, yeah. So back there was shot. We can go this way. This is fine. We'll still see some of the trains from here, I think. So yeah, the Choo Choo Barn is right up here on the, well, to the left up there. We were going to go there, but then we decided just to drive around because it's a beautiful day. So look at that view. It's a gorgeous day. I'm glad because we've seen some pretty, pretty good things already. I won't talk the whole time. Okay, um, you can't really see it. I'm gonna try to show you Strasburg. Let's see. Up there, back over there is the railroad. Not a very good shot of it though. Oh, another buggy. Hello. <laughs> anyway, I don't have to talk the whole time because this place speaks for itself. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. I don't need to talk for you to see that. <laughs> So if you're visiting for the first time or not, if you're a returning subscriber, just say hi to me in the chat. It pops up for a brief second and then goes away. So if I miss it, do it again. Um, I'm trying to keep, pay attention to the chat. It's just kind of hard to see sometimes. So we're going pretty far south. So you might want to turn around and we'll try to get back to that singing again. Maybe just go left. Is this a road or is this a driveway? I Okay, we'll go back that way we can, if we can remember how to get back there. I think we can. And we'll see if we can see that one little area again with the singing. So if you are new, I would love you to subscribe. I'm going to do the old hit that notification bell, hit the like button, all that stuff. <laughs> I'm really not good at that, but... Oh, there's a windmill down there. That's pretty. Oh, look at that park. There's a little covered bridge down there. That's so neat, a little pond. It's hard to see at the sun. That's really pretty though. Actually, Dan, no, 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 keep going because there's an Amish, there's an Amish down here playing. Oh, look at that. It's probably another youth gathering. I guarantee you. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Look at that. Look at that. See him down there? I, I will tell you, I've been coming to this Lancaster for two decades for day trips. Oh. <laughs> Shoot, we should go down there. And I have never ever been out on a Sunday night looking and seeing the Amish uh, youth gatherings. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, look at this shot though. 
pretty it is down there. It's a beautiful shot. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, I'm so glad you got to come down here recently. Oh, so look at that. It's so beautiful. My husband can still see, I promise. Oh, wait, look. This guy has four-way flashers on his buggy. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Hope you can see that. But this view is awesome. I'm glad we came down this way. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, Jimmy, and your wife. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday together. Ooh, can you go left up here? Down that road? That's a really steep road. Yeah, I guess you should. Where does that road even go from? This is a great shot, though. Like, I'm gonna have to, like, I'm glad I'm taking a video of this so I know where I am. <laughs> so I can go back and look at this video and figure out. Because these are some really great shots. Like, we're on a high road and get some beautiful shots of the country. Where are we? Oh, this is Grasshopper Level. No! -uh! Oh my gosh. So Grasshopper Level is like semi-famous for Amish country and Beverly Lewis actually, just go down this road. This is a cool road. We can always backtrack again. Uh, Beverly Lewis wrote one of um, my favorite series based off of Grasshopper Level. I would think it was the uh, Abrams Daughters books. Can't be sure. So that wind is a little chilly. If this wind is really loud, let me know and I can wind the window up. But it's just a lot prettier with the window down. But yeah, we are. <laughs> I wonder how much sunlight we have left. Maybe like an hour. 30, 40 minutes. Okay, so this. Oh, there's another schoolhouse. A little Amish schoolhouse. Very cool. Oh, that's a pretty farm back there. Oh my. I'm pretty sure it's Amish too. There's no lines running to it. No cables or electric wires. Oh no. See, I'm so glad they're walking the opposite way because then I don't feel bad filming them. But look at that. But your girlfriend's going to the singing probably. <laughs> no, don't scare them. These, I think this community is a little shook up still about the girl who was uh, taken last year. I don't blame them. That's so cute though. But they're all sisters. Oh, that was sweet. That was sweet. I guess this is the place to be on Sunday night. Man, we've seen a lot of action out this way so far. Yeah, we <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've seen two youth singings and pff, I don't know, eight or Beach so buggies. Volleyball. Beach volleyball. Yeah. Now the trick is, can we find our way back to where we were? I bet we could. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you don't really see the sky. <laughs> yeah, you can turn around and backtrack now. I don't think those are Amish. Nope. They're just English. All right, we're going to try to find our way back to uh, the way we came because I'm pretty sure there was two youth singings going on and the youth were gathering, the Amish youth were gathering. But still, these are, yeah, these are really good, like, wide open shots. It's really cool. There's a lot of land we're seeing today. A lot of land. If we're brave enough, we might head over to Dutch Water Land tonight. <laughs> Dan's like the best husband. See him over there? Well, it's a really close up. Hang on. You don't need to see a close up that close. There he is. Such a good husband. <laughs> Taking me on this adventure. Oh my goodness. Um,. So yeah, so we weren't sure we could get out and do this today, but he's like, let's go. We'll have a date day. So we're having a date day. Hershey Farm, not driving around. Then we're going to be really adventurous. Hi, Augustus. You know, if, if WGTL contacts me and asks me, sure. I'm really not an expert though. <laughs> I'm very much just an average person of who likes Lancaster. <laughs> anyway, um... So we're having a date day and we thought we'd just drive around and that was actually a really good choice. We thought about going to the Choo Choo Barn or the Amish Farm and House. They're running out of time. But this is even better. We've seen some amazing things tonight in this drive. And we've only been driving for like a half an hour. Um, but yeah, bear with me because, you yeah, know, I'm still kind of rookie at this. And really, 
history me because I just was able to do that because live or YouTube there's an Amish schoolhouse like oh I'm gonna pull that back up Jimmy you said after 30 years that's awesome you finally went to Birdhand I'm glad you enjoyed it it is it's so good there's that schoolhouse oh there's a buggy we missed sorry that sun is blinding me I can't really see very well let me try to pull up the chat again so I can see what you said for sure. But I'm glad you went to the Birmingham restaurant. I'm glad you loved it. I think you said it was your favorite. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to find the messages. Oh, there you go. After 30 years, we finally went to Birmingham family restaurant. New favorite smorgasbord. Thanks for the heads up. Ooh, your new favorite one. Yeah, I love Birmingham. Although I will say today, I really enjoyed Hershey Farm. Not so much that it was better food, but the like. The ambiance and like the decor there was awesome. It was like a it was like a horse stable, and that's why I liked it. It was really really cool in there. Very country, very stableish. Oh, look at this shot. Yeah, you're gonna get some good views. Look at this. When we turn right here. We got some road apples down there on the road. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid this. <laughs> Cut up on the right, you'll get good views. But we got good light here. So when we were in the Hershey Farm restaurant just like an hour ago, we met a couple from the Bronx, actually from New York. And they gotta get down here and avoid the rat race. We met some new people from there. Um, and they were talking about, they asked me, I told them it was my first time. She's like, this is your first time here? Your very first time? Like, she couldn't believe it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but I said, we go to other restaurants a lot, but we just never go over to, uh, oh, look at that. We've never been to Hershey Farms. So now we were at Hershey Farms. But look at this. You might want to go a little slower. This is a beautiful shot. You can see for so far. Uh, what a treat. Yeah, this is really pretty. Is that wind? You guys hearing any wind? I don't want to. I don't want you getting the wind. Let me zoom in a little bit. Sorry. That's so pretty down there. So this is Grasshopper Level, man. I know why it's kind of famous. You can even see a buggy way over there, down the road. You look really closely. So now we are in paradise. Oh, this is, no, this is near paradise. Is this the one we came out? No, I just okay. want to get this guy off. Oh, okay. So we're in Strasburg Township. Dan's just pulling around. Yeah. The Hershey Farm restaurant was really, really nice. I liked. Oh, I think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shoot down there. Can you go down that road? You think? Okay, you guys. I think. You're in for a treat. I think we're far enough away where I won't feel like we're invading on their privacy. But I think we're about to go to a youth singing. Like the youth get together. I don't know how often the, the Amish do this, but they have like youth gatherings on Sunday nights sometimes, and we're about to go buy one. So this is a pretty awesome. It's a public road. That is true, it's a public road. And I'm not so close that you can see their faces. In fact, I'm not even gonna look out. But isn't this so cool? Don't go too fast, Dan. Hello! <laughs> well, that just made my day. <laughs> he actually was happy to see us. Oh, wait. Oh, that's okay, that's maple. What was that called? Maple Lane Vacation Homes. You can actually rent that home back there, you guys. And possibly on a Sunday night, if you can, and be near Amish singing, yeah, maybe. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh. We can go back by, we won't. Yeah, because we don't know where we're going now, so. We're gonna go back to the road, we know where we are. But that was so cool. I honestly, I've been coming here for almost 20 years. I've never seen the youth gathering like that. That was so cool. Okay, we're turning around. <laughs> that guy was so funny. He, probably, he might have been making fun of me, I don't know, but he sure was happy. <laughs> he was waving. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, the one of the Amish guys was like, ha ha ha, like waving pretty, pretty wildly. That's a pretty farm. Okay, they have natural foods back here. But yeah, this is a vacation home. See that right there? This is Maple Lane Vacation Home, 505. So I guess you can rent one of these areas. Look at all these carriages. 
It's so awesome. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Something you don't see a lot of, that's for sure. It's getting chilly with the sun going now, I'll tell you that. So this is near Timberline Church. We are on, we're turning on the Georgetown Road and this was Paradise Lane we were just on. I feel like Paradise Lane might have been in one of the books I read too. That sounds really familiar. Does this have a compass in it? It doesn't, does it? I wish I knew which direction I was going. Oh, that's called Michael's Bread. There's a bread store right there. Sorry, I missed it. I was looking at the farms up here. Woo, that wind is chilly. <laughs> All right. You never know what lies around the corner when you drive around Amish country. Keep your eyes open. We didn't come out there. To think uh. <laughs> like it I'm not sure. Sadly enough, I don't know. I don't know. This looks. I don't know. Honey. It's in the farm over there. So you can see a buggy way down. Oh, darn it. There's the buggy crossing sign. Sorry, this um, gimbal is touchy. Oh, yeah. Back to what I was saying before I got really excited and saw a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so they just opened up live streaming on your phone for YouTubers if you have over 500 subscribers. So I got really lucky because I have over 500 subscribers. So I was super excited when they changed. They just changed that like this fall. Oh, yeah, we're back at Strasbourg. No, this is the way we came. <clears throat> um, they used to be a thousand subscribers. So I was like, man, that's going to take me a long time. <laughs> so I was thrilled when they opened it up to uh, 500. So that's why I'm able to do this. I mean, you can live stream on your computer. It's not on your phone. So that's a new thing. There's another buggy coming. Over there, so yeah, this is the way we came. I remember now. Let me go across this road like straight. Yeah, because over there is the Strasburg River. I know there'll be a lot of <laughs> Not yet, though. We go across this main road first. Pretty short. Let's see if you can. That's hard to see that, but that's a sun. Sorry, uh, we're, we're here. just going to lag sometimes and freeze. Just hang on because it will come back. Oh, usually it comes back pretty quickly. So we're back now. But right down there is, um, this is the Gap Road. And down there is the Choo Choo Barn and Strasbourg's down that way. The railroad, I mean. So anyway, we were going to go to the Choo Choo Barn because it's, you can find 60 hin hidden Santas. And I think it's our 60th anniversary or something like that. And it was like a scavenger hunt in the Choo Choo Barn layout, the miniature layout. So I was pretty excited, but then we kind of ran out of time and we decided to do this instead. And I'm glad we're doing this because this is actually really, really fun. We're trying to go back and find the other church uh, youth gathering that we saw. Um, I didn't know what it was at first. I thought it was, it was like left of From the king the church. I mean, it's close. I think so. There is a road back to the left. Yeah. Uh, but we're trying on maybe more than one. Oh, sweet. Look at that. <laughs> oh, so the horses are so beautiful. That's a pretty sweet shot. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you guys play, are planning a weekend to come to Lancaster. Yeah, there's the. Oh, yeah, we passed these pumpkins, that's right. You need to stay till Monday because Sunday night is like a happening ta time right now. We have seen so much. This guy may be turning left too, we'll see. 
These guys have blinkers too on there. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm still improving myself. <laughs> I'm still trying to <laughs> learn to be a better live streamer. <laughs> It'd be a lot worse if it wasn't for this gimbal that I love. This thing helps a lot. It's a stabilizer. But yeah, seriously, make sure you, when you come here, you stay overnight Sunday because there's so much going on here. We've seen so many horse and buggies tonight. And it's a beautiful night, which helps a lot. And the youth gatherings are not every Sunday, I don't think. I mean, I don't, I'm not positive. So we got lucky. Okay. This thing is crooked. Not sure if you can see that very, very well because of the uh, sun. There's some cows. You know, I love my cows. Look at him try to eat that corn. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. They're happy. Okay. I think right up here on the right was where. What we, what we saw before. It's a real nice surprise. Adjust, adjust the game. Man, that's chillier. Um, it wasn't down this street, I don't think. Yeah, it's up here. It's up here. If you guys can look, I'm going to try to zoom in. There's a whole bunch of buggy or carriages over there. And they're having another youth gathering. I'm 99% sure. That's what's going on there. Isn't that cool though to see all those carriages? <laughs> That's so oh, you see them? They're playing ball. I can see them playing ball. That's awesome. It's volleyball. They have another volleyball in that setup. That's so cool. Oh, that's really neat. <laughs> what a treat. What a treat. <laughs> Take a right. Sharpening? Hmm. Pretty sure this is an Amish farm up here on the right because we saw, sorry, we saw some little Amish boy run back through this barn earlier. There's a horse there. The buggy. Oh, they, <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs> they were coming out. I don't like, to, I try to get their faces when I'm going by them. Okay. All right, now we are on 896 going north. Another buggy over there. A buggy up here. I'm gonna wind the window up because it's really loud. I know the window's not super, super clean, but you can still see. <laughs> up there, sight and sound, one of my favorite places. So beautiful. You see it? I'll do it this way. Yep, there it is. And then, right down there is Horseshoe Farm where we ate. So that is the place to be if you want to come here for a a show and you want to literally walk to Sight and Sound, Horseshoe Farm would be a great place to go. Another buggy. Um, they have a walking path to Sight and Sound. And it has an inn, and it has a pool, and it has a pond, and it has a restaurant, and it has a gift shop. Pretty much is all you need. Jimmy, have you guys stayed there? If you're still watching, have you stayed at Hershey? Like the actual inn? 
There's Katie's Kitchen, authentic Amish cooking, owned and operated by the Amish. Another of my favorite places. And here's the Amish Village. This is a good road to be on. This takes you between basically Strasbourg and Burdenhand. Pretty much you cross 30 up here too. So this is a good road. That place is, I guess they're still open. Well, I didn't know that. The Amish Village, because the Amish Farm and House, which is similar to the Amish Village, they're both like, they're both old um, Amish houses they turn into museums. And the Amish Farm and House is along 30 up here. And that closed at four today, but that Amish village back there is still happening. Oh yeah, you said you just been, did you like it? Like, is it a nice place to stay? Would you recommend it, Jimmy? It looked really nice from the outside. Another buggy. We should be counting these buggies, honestly. Been like, at 50. least, no, about 50. Well, all the ones that they had parked in there. Well, okay, there. that's true. If you count the, the parked buggies, we've seen probably, yeah, on I mean, road, 50 to 75. We probably saw 20 of them on the road. So up here is the Steamboat Inn. I think it's called Fulton Steamboat Inn. And then on the left is the Rockville Outlets. So this intersection we're coming upon right now, if you guys saw the movie Witness, it was in the movie, so I always call it the Witness Intersection because uh, uh, in the one shot, I forget if it was the, the car or the buggy, they turned up this road, they're, they're going the opposite way we were going. Used to be a Dairy Queen, yeah, so where the Waffle House is, kind of old but not bad, okay. So if you're going to stay at Hershey Farm, you're really staying there like for the location, I would say. Look at that, look at that, look, isn't that cool though? Steamboat Inn. Never been there either. But so that Waffle House right there was a Dairy Queen in the movie. So if you watch Witness and you see the intersection with the Dairy Queen, that's where that is, was and this is the intersection. So I think that's really cool. Us Pennsylvanians were pretty proud of that. <laughs> Here's some more buggies. Oh, I love how they step. Such high steppers. I think we're going to head to Birdhand. Because honestly, it's like my one of my favorite places, and I don't like coming to Lancaster if I can't go through Birdland. Makes me happy. But we've seen some really great stuff. Like I kind, of, I think I kind of discovered a new place to take my friends when I come here because that was some great views back there. Okay. You might have to be here on a Sunday night, though. That's True. The yeah, but just the views. Steamboat's very nice. Oh, good. Thanks for letting us know, Jimmy. So. Jimmy said the Steamboat Inn is very nice. I was looking for places to eat today because there's not a lot of choices on Sundays for eating in Lancaster. There's Miller's and there's Hershey Farm and that's two of the only ones, like the popular ones I know that are open. But the Steamboat Inn has a tavern that serves food on Sunday night too. So if you're ever here and you get stuck with nowhere to go, you could go to Steamboat Inn for their, sorry, tavern food. Okay, here's Good and Plenty up on the left. One of Dan's favorites. My favorite. It is his favorite. It is. Oh, it's so close. Sorry. Target. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to give me a little bit of grace. I'm not super great at this yet. <laughs> and there's Millstream Inn. Um, so, yeah, there's Smoketown Inn. This is a good road. So, we're on 896. And now we're coming up on 340, and we're going to take a right and go east down to Birdhand. So this is kind of a good connecting road, and there's still a lot to do on this road. Here we go. Old Philadelphia Pike, otherwise known as 340. There's the sign for Good and Plenty. Okie dokie. It's warm in here now. Whew! What's this? Yeah, just... <laughs> when you have the window down. Okay, I love looking at the homes around here. Look at that, they like that one right there. That's an old, that's probably like a mill of some sort. It's, now it's a gallery, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of old farmhouses, old stone homes, you know, a couple hundred years old, 300 years old maybe. Another buggy. Cross Keys, Burnhand. We are now officially in Burnhand. Hoo hoo, woo hoo. Hooray. Abe's Buggy Ride. I've never tried Abe's Buggy Rides. I would like to. I tried Aaron Jessica's, which is on this road, and so is Triple A. It's down by, um, I call it Triple A. It's really AAA. <laughs> They're in Kitchen Kettle Village.
so ooh, so up here like look at this up here in the right slow down a little bit is right here is the uh Greystone Manor B and B. Now I will tell you when I looked online about a month ago it was for sale. They're selling it. So if you're in the if you're in the market to buy a bed and breakfast in Lancaster, it was for sale like as of a few weeks ago. I think what I say it was one point two. Oh maybe. Mm, you me one darn it. it was. We're in Burn Hand. Uh shoot. Yeah, there was two. There's Burn Hand Bakery. Well, the Burn Hand restaurant bakery. Sorry, and there's a farmer's market. Of course, it's closed today. There's a bee. There's a buggy. Hello. There's my one of my favorite places, Birdhand Family Inn. <laughs> oh, so pretty for Christmas. Oh, we're gonna be all drive around when it gets dark and see all these lights. That's gonna be awesome. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Before I started seeing Birdhand. Oh yeah, so that. Um, Greystone Manor was for sale. I, yeah, it was either seven hundred fifty thousand. I think it was one point two million though. That one's a big one. That's a very big bed and breakfast. So we're not quite at that place in our life yet. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of you know my dream is at a bed and breakfast in Lancaster, but I don't want a humongous one. I want a small one. Um, humongous one just be a lot of work and a lot of less fellowship. I want to be able to talk to my people, spend time with them. Some pretty good views out that way. This is Coffin's Fruit Farm. Um, the fields here, the orchards are part of Coffin's, I believe. But well, that's different. There's some more cows. Oh, sorry, I missed that. I'm gonna have to pull that back up. Sorry, Martha, this is just literally a drive around. I have lots of videos on places to visit on my channel. If you go there, you'll see lots of reviews. And I have talked about a few things to see. Some restaurants and stuff. But yeah, there are, we have some reviews on my channel, places to go and places to eat. And we have mentioned some things. But some of us love just to see Amish country. So we're gonna come upon uh, the intercourse area soon in Kitchen Kettle Village. So a lot of things are closed today. That's one reason we can't see a lot is because it's Sunday. <laughs> Sunday in Lancaster is uh, kind of sparse. <laughs> there are some things to do. So like I mentioned, the Amish farmer house was open today from 10 to four. Okay, here is um, bug Aaron Jessica's Buggy Ride has done that. Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews, which used to be plain and fancy. The Amish Experience and the Amish View Inn. So this is a pretty popular area. And um, it's expensive. The hotel's expensive. I've never stayed there. I've looked it up. But it has a really nice view. And there's a, there's a restaurant there, a big gift shop there. And you're right in the middle of this area, which is a great area. This is a, between Birdhand and Intercourse. It's a great area. And here's a wine shop. Been in there before. Lots of selections of local, local wines. Another buggy. Oh, they have farm tables at that place. Ooh, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. So here, if you go down this lane, there is a little tiny shop run by the Amish who live there. And a long time ago, let's see if I can get it. There, that farm right there. Uh, about six years ago, they had a dotty house. They rented out as a like a rental, and I stayed there with a couple of friends. That was really awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure they still do that, but I'll have to find out. So obviously, I can't call or anything, but I can find out. More farms. So, yeah, Sundays are Sundays are kind of kind of sparse here. So there's a few things you can do, a couple of restaurants you can go to, and then Mondays are actually not the best day either to be in Lancaster because it's um, a lot of restaurants are still closed. So those are not the best days, but. Like we've discovered today, Sunday is a great day to see a youth gathering. So there's another local um, uh, market there in the summertime. Oh, this buggy's, oh, he's just avoiding. This guy looks like he's, look at his feet. <laughs> okay, now we're coming upon Intercourse and Kitchen Kettle Village, which I'm assuming is closed today. 
I, I mean, I know it's closed today, but I was thinking maybe we could just pull in the parking lot and just look around, which is what I meant. Okay, um, so up here, when we get up to this next light, not this light, there to the right is like a coffee shop. I'll show it to you, but it used to be a gas station and they repurposed it and made it to this really cool coffee shop. And if you go in there, you can see the pictures of the old gas station and the story behind it. I love stuff like that. I love hearing how people do stuff like that. Okay, so now we're in intercourse and a lot of shops because over here is Kitchen Kettle Village. Um, pull in here, left. So here's this coffee shop. Isn't that beautiful? So it used to be a gas station and they built that. I'll have to find out when. Oh, I don't know, at least five years ago. So here's Kitchen Kettle Village. Kitchen Kettle Village. This is all local shops when they're open. This is actually kind of cool to be here when no one's here because you can see a lot of it. Just pull up um, over there, see if we can. That has it's like a little goat farm over there. I don't think there's like any goats right now though. Probably too cold. I meant over there, that's okay. <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to walk around. I thought maybe we could just look around, but it looks like they have everything. Well, oh, they're doing some construction here. Fixing some sidewalks and stuff. Let me just see. Drive around. Um, let me see. All right, so there is Lap Valley Farm ice cream. This is not open. I'm just showing you what's around here. Over there is where you catch the buggy rides, triple uh, A buggy rides. I don't think we can walk around. I wish we could. Well, I can't stop you from walking. Maybe not. Try going one more behind you. Another, um... Oh, doesn't look like there's anything back there. But they were doing some stuff here, obviously. Yeah, everything here is local. So all the shops here are local. And there's lots. There's quilt shops and furniture shops and a deer skin shop. Sorry. Again, the, you know, I'm going to get cut out sometimes with YouTube. But look at that. Isn't that cool? It's a nativity scene. Silhouetted. I love it. That's a really cool thing. I bet you can see that there's lights there. So I bet it's really pretty at night when it lights up. And we're not that far away from, from dusk, so we might be able to see that. Dan's getting a picture. <clears throat> we're gonna drive around up to the village a little bit more, see if we can walk around a bit. But I have a whole video on the Kitchen Kettle Village. I walked through there last summer and did a video on it. If you wanna see the stores and stuff. My husband likes to get pictures. So yeah, I, I said, back to the Sunday thing. Um, the Amish village and the Amish farm and house are two like tour museums, like Amish, they're both Amish houses that became museums basically. And you can tour them and see how they do things. And they're open on Sundays, uh, but not a lot is. So those two are open on Sundays and then Miller's and Hershey Farms open on Sundays but not a lot of restaurants. So those are the four main things I would suggest for a Sunday in Lancaster. Um, Mondays, the Birdhand Bakery is open and the Birdhand actual bake shop that, that on Gibbons Road, which I want to go to someday, is open Monday through Saturday. <laughs> Dan's having fun getting the pictures. That's really cool though. I guess it's maybe like copper or something. I'm not sure where that material is, but I bet that's really cool when it's lit up. <laughs> so, speaking of nativity scenes, we did a, uh, went to the National Christmas Center in Elizabethtown, which is the northwest corner of Lancaster County, on Tuesday. And it was the first year this thing was open. It was the grand opening called the National Christmas Center at the Starborn. I'm going to make a video about it soon, but it's a lot of footage I got to go through. It's the same place that had the drive through lights we went to. But anyway, the, um, the, the National Christmas Center had this entire room of nativity scenes of different countries. Like every single country, I mean, not every single country, but hundreds of countries represented of how they make their nativity scenes different. It was really, really cool. Like Ethiopia, Nigeria, Philippines, uh, Germany had a lot. Um, I mean, tons of them. So the entire room were, were nativity scenes of um just drive up there of all the different countries and how they represent the nativity scene and how they make them and how they're different it was really cool that was just one of the many cool things we saw that day you can kind of see the sun setting a bit now 
Okay, we're gonna go up here and see if we can just pull around there. I can at least get out and walk around a little bit. Just pull right up here to where, you know, like you get the buggy ride, like right up here. Just stop right there near that stone. So here's where you get the um, AAA buggy rides. You hitch them here. And here's where you pay, actually. AAA buggy rides. We actually did this this past summer. So, yeah, down there. I'm going to try a walk. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get in trouble. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I'm here. <laughs> I just want to show you real fast. So, Kitchen Kettle Village is one of my favorite places. And I wish they would have the lights on. It'd be so cool to see, but... Everything is local, so up there, way up there, is the Jam and Kitchen Village right there. That's one of my favorite stores. They have a Christmas store up there. They have a Harvest Kitchen restaurant here, fudge shop, leather shop, jewelry shop, and Lap Valley Farm is the um, one of the you know local uh, ice cream places. They use only Jersey cows, I believe, or Guernsey. I forget which one. I think it's Jersey, and they. See, the whole, there's the hoy up there. So this is a fun place to go if you like shopping. Um, but I don't want to walk around too much since they're closed. I don't feel right about that. But it's a, it's a really cool place. Look at their angels. That's really neat. It's pretty. They do have a little choir set up down there. It was just hard to get to everywhere I wanted to go this trip. <laughs> It's hard to have time to do everything. But we're here today, so that's good. So I'll see you in a lot of stuff. So we'll do a little more driving. Okay. Done already. Yeah, I, I don't want to walk the whole way up there. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I don't think anybody's even here to oh, watch it. It's okay. I have I, I already I have a whole video on Kitchen Kettle Pillows already. Mm -hmm. I just really wanted to see. Oh, are their lights going to come on, though? Well, that'd be cool if they lose like automatically. They're probably on timers. That would be cool. Let's just um, drive the road and come back maybe. Actually, you can drive around the parking lot. There's more of C just driving around the parking lot. Oh, this they changed this. This is a different thing. The Happy Camper Outdoor Gear and Gift. Hmm. Used to be a different store there. Okay. See, so yeah, now it's going to be dust. Oh, the, go the goats are out. Look, pull up here. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little goat. Um, I can't get them. So they have like a little goat playground over there, and you can feed the goats and stuff. But I didn't know they were out. But hi. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's that. That's what that is over there. The goat playground. They're pretty funny, actually. They do walk across those bridges and stuff. Here's some more. A uh, far away shop, the kitchen kettle village, the back side of part of it. But you can go up there because there's more stuff up here. This place is really busy, I'll tell you that. On popular days, this parking lot is completely full. Uh, the country life, furniture and accessories, straight ahead. There is a restaurant here that I want to try. Um, darn it, what's it called? It's right up, it's right up, it's right up there. Oh, you can go that way, I guess. Yeah, we'll go see what it's called. So, here's the back side. Kling House. Oh, yeah. It's called the Kling House Restaurant. I'm pretty sure Jimmy told me to go there. It's like a nicer restaurant. Um, we fun to try that. I don't know if we can go much farther than this. <gasps> We're doing the back, back roads tour. I don't know. Just turn around because I don't want to get stuck going that way. I want to have to get out this way. Yeah, the Kling House restaurant is right there. Underneath, underneath that little gazebo thing. So it's on my list of things I want to try. Hi! Thanks for joining the Life and Sad Ending. <laughs> so we're at Kitchen Kettle Village right now. It's not open, but we're driving around because it's such a cool place. Strawberry Sweet. So, okay. In addition to this being a shopping area, there's also lodging here. So they have two or three, maybe four buildings where they have rooms. Um, and that's why there's parking spaces they reserve for Strawberry Street guest quarters. Because some of these are, um, look at that, it's pretty back there, are uh, 
rooms for the inn. So there's an inn here and you can get, literally stay on property. <laughs> so if you love shopping, that'd be the perfect place to stay. Here's some, um, a quilt shop. In addition to this being a retail place, there's also an inn. There's a yarn shop. I had a friend buy something there once. Another a wine tasting room. So, this see the lights are on more. Mm, so I think they're coming on. We kind of we're, we're hanging out a little bit here because we feel like maybe the lights are going to come on inside there. It would be really really pretty. I'm not sure. I think we're too early still. But that the Lat Valley Farm is also a. This is like their little kitchen cow village location, but they have an entire farm you can go to and see the cows and experience some things. Heard good things about it. You can go, honey. We'll drive around a little bit more. So, yep, here's Kitchen Kill Village from the back side. This is a really neat area. I know it's been around since I've been in high school. So that's a long time. <laughs> I'm not sure when it started, but I know, I know it, it was around then. Because not, I'm not a huge shopper, but I really hated it when, when my mom and dad make me come to Lancaster and go shopping all day. <laughs> there's a lot of shopping here, and it's exhausting. <laughs> now I love, oh, there's another buggy. Let me go right or left. Um, actually, go straight. Then do some more back roads. But yeah, that's the, the coffee shop over there. Really cool place. It's a big gas station. I was telling that earlier, if you weren't on the stream, I was talking about that earlier. And if you go inside of it, you'll see the pictures of what it used to look like. And now it's a really cool gas station slash store. They have like home decor and stuff in there. And that's Stolfoot's Meats, so that's a pretty famous place too around here. An Amos Place restaurant. Oh, there's a place I had not tried that I do need to try. I've heard of that place, but I have not been there yet. All right, let's see where we're going here. Is this a road? <laughs> no, no, no. I swear this is a road. It says private property. Oh, it does it really? Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. That's so strange. I thought this was a, that must be one down it there then. Look like one down there. That's really, there's the Pequay Valley Public Library. Oh, there's someone sitting out there. Hmm. I don't think I ever knew there's a library back here. It looks like they have a little bell on the top. That's pretty cute. Left. Um, no, go right up in the light. Uh, we'll go, we'll drive around a little bit. We'll try to find it. And you know what? There's a covered bridge near here. Let's try to find it. So yeah, do go left. I can find it. We go the way we went before. We're going to try to get through a covered bridge. bridge. Yeah. So you take a left at the light, at this stop sign. Go down and then we're going to take a left again soon. Um, we'll try to find the covered bridge. It's just not good to come to Lancaster and not do the covered bridge. <laughs> There's Emmer Goods Pretzel Company over there. So this is, yeah, if you love shopping and just, you can spend the entire day in intercourse just walking around, honestly. Maybe even more than a day. There's so much to do here. There's so much shopping here. And food. And art. Lots of stuff. So there's the inn sign. Sorry. I know I'm not doing a great job at this at the moment. Quilts and fabrics here. So their queen quilts are $490. Okay, it's actually not a bad price for a queen quilt. That can be like a thousand dollars sometimes. All right, we're gonna try to head down the road and take the same roads we took before on, the, on our buggy tour to find the cover bridge. I think we can do it. So hang in there. So I think the turn is like right up here, like soon. Um, not that. Left or right? Left. Left of this next street up here. Um, it's not warm here today, but it's mild. I was, what do you think it's in? It's probably in the 50s today. It's probably getting to be in the 40s now. I've gotten to be 50. So, yeah, this is the right, this is the correct road. So, last week when we were in York, it was cold. Like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, cold. Like, 40, 40, low 40s during the day and oh, and then like 20s at night. Today was mild, yesterday was mild. So it's been a little more mild lately. 
it's been nice. Now you're gonna see a sunset on this country. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The sky's already turning colors. So pretty. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. Here comes another buggy. Oh, look. Okay, you guys, check out this horse's legs. He cracks me up. He swings them. <laughs> so cute. It's probably the same one we saw before. Probably. They don't usually do that, I don't it's think. It's like they're in perfect unison. Sometimes they're like, normal. a lot of times they're really high trotters. They're like the very stately trot. It's really cool to see that. But that guy was swinging his legs. Phoebe. <laughs> yeah, if you watch Friends, he runs like Phoebe. <laughs> One of my favorite episodes of Friends when, when she was running. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Probably yeah. should go up on a high hill for this sunset. Dan's running like literally through the road apples right now. <laughs> yeah, we can try and find a higher place for a sunset, but there's another buggy coming. Uh, we're going to take you to the cover bridge. We're actually really close to the cover bridge, so we're going to be there really soon. Four left. Yeah. Oh, here's two buggies. Well, sweet. Oh, cool, David. Lucky you. Yeah, I'm thrilled to be here. Look at that horse. Oh, the little kid's sleeping. <laughs> sweet. Up there is Harvest Drive Inn, just FYI. A good place to stay if you want to stay like in the middle of Amish country and not near the busyness. There's two places, Old Orchard Inn and Harvest Drive. Those are two great places to stay. If you want to be back outside of the main roads, take a right right here. Remember this drive? <laughs> It's all 22 of them that day. I'm not sure. I this is our buggy drive. It took us to the covered bridge. I remember it very well. Probably because I watched the video. We actually recorded an entire buggy ride. Um, it's, on, it's on the channel. Um, almost the entire thing we recorded. And he talked about all sorts of things about the Amish and their traditions. Because his family was Amish. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to try wine on the window. It's prettier. The sunset's so pretty. Ooh, let me know if it gets too windy and you guys hear that wind. Oh, someone's gonna pass us. That happens a lot when I'm driving around on this country. People don't like how slow I go. That's alright. They can pass me. That's a big um, flag. The buggy. Hello. Oh, gosh. I love that sound. My favorite sound in the world is the clip clop sound. It's like therapy. The swing set. Here's a pretty good shot, too. The sunset. Yeah, this is Belmont Road. I'm pretty sure we're going south right now. And we're going to come across upon the bridge. I think it's Pequay Bridge or the Belmont Bridge. Oh, there's a little... Uh, um, we might be able to meander our way back up to those high levels. That's bright lights on those buggies. Yeah, I think the buggies have been very like safety conscious over the past like 10 years or so. They're having a lot more lights on their buggies and stuff. Flashing flashing lights and high or actual lights on the front of their buggies. Uh, it's getting darker. Hard to see, but sure is pretty. You can see the sunset. roof of the bridge. Look at that. Look down here. There's like literally three buggies with their, with their lights flashing. Isn't that cool? I would actually wait behind this guy. Just wait behind him. Because we're, we're upon the bridge and it's going to get low. I can't see down there. Yeah. Too bad this video does not have um, smell. You guys can smell the country right now. Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You can't smell this. <laughs> Smells very fresh. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. You guys are so lucky. We're getting, well, I'm so lucky. We get to see literally the buggy going through the bridge. And then if you're lucky, I'm going to get close enough. I want you to be able to hear it. The sound of the buggy going through the bridge is always super fun. Okay, I'm going to put you high up on, the, on top of the car here. Every day you see a buggy going through a bridge. I hope you can hear that.
but you literally can you see the line of buggies up here? It's so awesome. I'm pretty sure that was a Pakeway Bridge. I forget which number. There's a whole bunch of people in that buggy. Wow, there's a lot of them. That thing is full. There's like three people in the backseat of that buggy. <laughs> That's a pretty house. Let's catch up to these buggies here. Burr. We wind the window up a little bit. Uh, what school is that? That's a pretty cool playground though. It's a nice school. Looks kind of new. All right, we're coming upon three, two or three more buggies up here. Oh, that was, that was awesome. I mean, I was excited to go through the cover bridge, just going through the cover bridge, but then we got to go behind the buggy. <laughs> That was so awesome! How many do you see? I just see two. Okay. We're coming up on a light. You see the little hooves underneath that little, um, kind of like a backsplash. It's not a backsplash, but that's what I call it. <laughs> it's the little, um, thing they have down to keep the mud from flying back under the buggy. What do you call that thing? Mud flap. Mud flap. That's a good name for it. Just like the truck. <laughs> Let's see if I can hang on. Maybe you can hear it if I if I I bumped my gimbal. <laughs> well, that was a treat. Okay, we're on Route 30 now. I think we're going. Where are we going east? Pretty sure we're going east on 30. We're going to turn back a back road in a minute here. But I think, I think we're going to be coming near Miller's and um, what's it called, Deaners? Maybe. We'll see. So this is actually Paradise area too. The par Paradise. Oh look here! Ooh, sweet. So like, like the barn, like the barn frame structures. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see. Antique mall. This is another big area for antiquing. If you love to antique shop, Lancaster is your place. There is a ton of them. Look at that house over there. That's really cool looking. like kind of old-fashioned like it feels like you're traveling back in time you see that okay so let's see where we are okay we're gonna find a road to turn back on I just gotta get my bearings as to where I am let's drive a little bit farther Zook's homemade chicken pies Okay, that's a place. Ooh, oh, that's that place. I've heard of that place. Okay, we're putting that on the list of places to go. I forgot. I knew there was a place I someone told me about, and I forgot what it was. I think that's what it is. So, again, now I have like documentation on this video. <laughs> what I need to do. All right, so maybe up here. Maybe just take a left right here. We'll see where this goes. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so the gap's two miles that way. So this road I'm pretty sure takes you down to Strasbourg again, but we're gonna go back the way we came, or back these roads, see if we can find some hot views of the sunset. If we get lucky. Cause it's a pretty night. I think the sunset might be over. Yeah, we might have missed it. But we have we got some shots. We might be able to get if we get really high. Okay. Hang on, we're trying to get to the back roads. We're almost there. Like turn left here, I think. Yeah. yeah. We'll just see where this road takes us. I 
much so you don't know. <laughs> These are some serious um, power lines though, wow. Okay. Well, this is unknown area to me. I can't tell you anything about this area because I don't know this road. But this is something you see in Pennsylvania a lot. These uh, houses that are literally right along the road. <laughs> That's a common thing. Oh, wait a minute. This is something up here. Bunch of, I think it's some Amish children walking. Let's see. Yep. There's... <laughs> oh, it's a family. Aw. Oh, that was adorable. So I don't like to show their faces. So if I can, I try to like not get too close. I like to watch the back of them. It gives them more privacy. Those guys, but I like pumpkins. All right, so you were up here pretty high, but I think we're just missing the sunset. But now we can see Christmas lights. Of course, not in the Amish houses. Oh, Miller's is the opposite direction. I wonder if I was too far. Here comes a buggy. I thought so too, David. I was like, I bet I'm too far. I have, since I'm using my phone, I can't use my phone to look at the map. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like guessing here and making my best educated guess. Okay, I think there's a road down here you can take a left at. Oh, that's pretty though. That's a nice shot. Not, the sun's not down yet. There's a good shot of the, of the valley. That is an enormous house down there. Holy cow. Oh wait, um, sure. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we go. But do you see that house down there? It's hard to see, but it's like a whole bunch of um, rooms in it. Sorry, this phone is acting weird. Give me a second here. Okay, well. Okay, let's just get some shots of the sunset. See, that's pretty. This thing is not enough. It's just so windy, it's probably making so much noise. Look at that, that's a very big farm. The house has like several additions. That's a pretty big farm there. You could take it right here. Actually no, go straight because there's more of a hill. You can tell the sunset and we're seeing less action. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be I would not want to be out with my horse and buggy in the dark, I'll tell you that. No way. No sorry. Yeah, it's getting dark here. I believe the stream's coming to an end. But we saw a lot of good stuff. So if you're just joining us, you need to go back and look. We saw a lot of cool things. Two of the highlights were the youth singings. We saw a whole bunch of youth gathered together, Amish youth, playing volleyball and having a grand time. And then um, the cover bridge, that was awesome with the buggy. And then some really pretty shots. We got to this really high road and saw a lot of really nice views over the valley. It was so pretty. Just some really picturesque things to see. So yeah, we're probably wrapping up soon because it's getting dark, but there are a lot of good shots on this video, so. When I get a chance, I'll edit it and I'll put in the, the um, thumbnails for, or the um, timestamps for you so you know when, when that happened. You can just go in the description and I'll tell you which minute you can click on to get to those spots. So, let's see, it's really quiet here. <laughs> There's nobody out at the moment. Tomorrow's a work day. It's probably why we saw probably all of them running around earlier because they were all running around then before it got dark, so.
trying to get to a, a view up here. We'll see. Probably. I know this is not the country, but I still like the houses around here. They're always so personal. It's Christmas, you get to see some lights. A little bit of a sunset over here. Slight. Here's some farmland. This is pretty. Do you know what road we're on? Nope. Can I see your phone? <laughs> I'll let you look at Christmas lights. It's really pretty. We're trying to figure out where we are. <laughs> this guy has a lot of stuff going on. He is in the Christmas spirit. Look at that. <laughs> That's really fun. Okay. If we're near the Kitchen Cow Village, I might try to go back there and see if the lights are on. If not, so let's see where we are. Look up Kitchen Cow Village, actually. Is that where you want to go? Just, yeah, I want to see how close it is. Can you see where you give me directions to Kitchen Cow Village? I can see you pretty far in this shot, too. You got some sunlight. Much. It's fun to come here at different seasons because you drive down the same road, winter, summer, fall, and maybe even sp and spring really. You're going to see it looking different every season. It's pretty neat. You'll see the soil like tilled up in the spring and you'll see the plants growing in the summer and then you'll see them really big in the fall and then you'll see them bare in the winter. That's always fun. Oh, we're back on Belmont? Oh. Yup. Okay, so maybe we'll go through the bridge again, maybe. Yes, sir. -y. He does. Oh, yes, we're gonna go through the covered bridge. I don't think I've ever gone through a covered bridge in the dark. I mean, it's been a long time. So, we, when we come to Lancaster, we usually are coming from York, because that's where our family lives when we're visiting. And we always go home before it's dark, because <laughs> it's, it's a tiring day. And so, I don't usually drive around here in, in the evening. It's kind of fun. Look at that house right there. That's a beautiful house with the light and the candles in the... It's just a beautiful house. There's a buggy. Here's the bridge. Oh no, I want to hear the, I want to hear the bridge. <laughs> My, my dad's poor van's gonna have a whole bunch of road apples in his tires. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. They should really put lights inside cover bridges. That'd be neat, like Christmas lights. <laughs> Actually, at the Christmas light drive through that we went to, they did. We were through a cover bridge. It was uh, Herb's Mill, right? Or uh, no, Hare's Hare, Mill cover bridge. They moved it. It was on 896, excuse me, it was on 896, they moved it to the Star Barn, which is where we were the other day, and if you watch that video of the Christmas light drive through we get to drive right through that, oh wait, look, 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 there's kids in the field out there, can you see that? There they are. They're just having fun, I guess. Maybe there's a person just working, I don't know. But anyway. If you go to that Christmas light drive through or if you can't go, watch the video I, I did the live stream there and there's a covered bridge there and we got to drive through it. It's, it was moved from 896 down there and it was completely decorated for Christmas. It was beautiful. Just to, if you just go to that video just for that part, it's probably worth it. But actually the entire thing is beautiful. We're going to head back to Kitchen Cow Village to see if it's lit up. And then after that we probably will say so long if it's let up it's gonna be really pretty so we thought we'd give it a try 
another schoolhouse here. Do you remember what they... What's this place? It's a clock shop. Oh, that's Hickory Grove Clock Shop. Oh, that's cool. That's enough of something else we can do someday. That'd be fun. It is so peaceful here right now. There's like no noise. It's so quiet. It's really quite refreshing. No traffic. No noise. Just driving. No, that's not a great shot. Okay. Is it not too far? One mile to Kitchen Kettle Village, and we will see what it looks like. I'm hoping the lights are on because I really want to see it at nighttime. Another barn. They have the lights on in that barn. I know. I just thought we'd check. A lot of development around here. So, at one point, Lancaster County was 90% farmland. I'm not sure. If it's that high anymore, I doubt it, but it's still a lot. If you look at an aerial view <laughs> of this county, you would see a lot of green and brown, depending on what season it is. <laughs> oh, there's a, missed another Amish buggy, darn it. Okay, so what is this place here? Maybe we saw a lot of good stuff on this, on this stream. Like, I'm glad because I can look back and remind myself of what I want to do. <laughs> Pretty cool places I have not been to yet. I've seen on this drive, so I'm excited. It's now recorded. Oh, it's so pretty at night with the lights. So I love in Pennsylvania homes, they put a lot of candles in the windows, and I love that. My grandma always did that. There's another guest house right there to the left. This is Best Western by the way. It's a really cool looking Best Western and they have a restaurant in here too. Um, oh yeah, it's called Old Mill Restaurant. So another FYI for you. Sorry, honey. It's a cute shop right there. Antiques. Oh my goodness. So we're now we're coming upon 340 again. This is the, oh, right there is the American Military Edge Weaponry Museum. Sorry, it's not a very good shot, but uh, I'm going there someday because my youngest son loves military war history and and uh, all the weaponry that goes with it. He knows so much about that stuff. Look at that beautiful inn. That's called Intercourse Village Inn and Spa. Wow, oh, that's so pretty. Look at this place. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> uh, there's no time like Christmas. Okay. I don't know, we might be lucky. Maybe. Look at that big tree though. It's lit up down there. Uh, Just drive up, go past this area, and then I'm gonna look. I can at least get that shot. Go up one more. Then you can turn in here. Oh, oh look, oh, some of those lights are burnt out than Tid we seen. That's a shame. Okay. That tree is cool. I'm gonna at least get up there and get that tree. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna try to get out. Oh my gosh, how'd they even do that tree? That must have been quite a feat. So there are more lights that's not on. You can see them string across there. Let me see if I can get a shot of that tree better. All right. Oh, well, there's someone skateboarding. If he can skateboard, surely I can walk down this place. Maybe not. Oh, here's the angel. Okay. <laughs> There's the angels. That's really pretty. <laughs> Actually, this is a really good place to skateboard now that I think about it. It's like a lot of ramps and hills and flat areas to make you got to go too fast. Okay. That's a really cool tree. I hope I don't get in trouble. <laughs> I'm a firstborn. It's hard for me to break the rules. It depends on the rule. 
oh, here's my favorite place, Jam and Relish Kitchen. So pre-COVID, you could go in there and sample like a hundred stations. I'm not joking. They had like three or four different samplings per um, area. Look at this pretty tree. So pretty. Oh, that's really cool. So here we are in Kitchen Kettle Village. Oh, there's a tree there too. Oh, looks so nice. So this would be a good place to come during the normal week when you actually can be here and shop around. Okay, Pandora. So let me get out of here before I get in trouble. But, oh, there's some more people. <laughs> Maybe we're allowed to be here. But yeah, there's lights here that are not on right now, but I bet. So I'm forgetting the um, hours offhand, but okay, hang on a second. <laughs> Oh, darn, I was hoping they had all the hours on here. Here's like the map of the place, though. We are here. Ah, so, lots to do here. Hang on, let me look. I'm trying to find the hours. I know they're open at night. Um, all right, you guys, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read this. Hang on a second. Darn it! Um, Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6. Um, that's during, yeah, year round, November to April, nine to five, close on Sundays. So six o'clock, it's, it's dark here at six o'clock. Hi, I guess this is a cool hangout. Oh, you're, you're good, you're good. Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's wood. These are wooden carolers. Isn't that adorable? This is a good shot. It's another good shot of the tree from back here. It's funny. It actually smells good here, even though nothing is open. It's like the lingering smell of this place still smells really good. <laughs> so, it's fun to be here, even though no one's here and everything's closed. But yeah, this is a fun... Oh, the nativity scene is lit up. Sweet. We'll drive by that. <laughs> Yeah, this is some, some kids come here apparently to, this is actually a really good place to go skateboarding or any kind of rolling of anything because it's flat and there's a lot of places you can go and it's not dangerous. Okay, the nativity scene is lit up. You want to go down there? All right, the nativity scene we go. Burr. That's a really good buggy ride place if you want to go. This is the place you go if you want to do the cover bridge tour. They're one of the only ones who offer it actually on a buggy ride. Most of it's lit up. See? I see the nativity scene that we were at earlier. Now it's lit up. It looks pretty neat. Okay, so here you go. That's a pretty good shot. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. And you got some farming in the background a little bit. That's pretty neat. What's that made out of? Did you tell? I did. Okay. All right. We'll drive out of town, look at the lights as we're going. But um, most things are going to be hard to see now. <laughs> Here's some skateboarders for you. They're having fun. Okay. You wind the window up, it's cold. Yeah, that coffee shop looks so pretty from over here. They did a really good job with it. Tomorrow, 9 or 10 a.m., I believe. This is the night the Amish. I think it might be Mennonite, actually. I think those are Mennonites. There's a buggy at night. Oh, with this light silhouette in the background. That's pretty sweet. But look at that place. Isn't that place is so pretty? And it is... The furniture in there is actually really beautiful. It's very farmhouse kind of style. It's really neat. That's an art gallery right there. More of the Kitchen Kettle Villa stuff here. There's another buggy. They're still out, even though it's dark. I guess they're just used to it. I'd be nervous. 
There's another buggy down there. I just can't go that fast. Oh, it was fun. So I think we're not going to do this one early now. <laughs> I guess not. We had a lot of fun just doing this. I kind of wanted to go Dust Wonderland and try out the Winter Wonderland, but I mean, we're going to spend a lot of money for two hours, so. This was really fun, though. This was a really fun stream to do. Kind of just last minute, spur the moment. But it was fun. And I'll keep filming as long as you guys are here. That's fine with me. Not a lot to see in the dark, but. At Christmas lights, those are always fun to see. You never know. Like I say, you never know what you're going to see in Amish country. You should always have your camera ready. <laughs> that should be a shirt, honestly. Somebody needs to make a shirt about Lancaster having your camera ready in Lancaster. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty dark. <laughs> Not a lot of lights around here. <laughs> Oh, that's cool though. You can see the silhouette of the silo and stuff up there. Good night, David. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. I like that silhouette. Sorry the car van is dirty. We've been driving around a lot. Kind of see. It's kind of a cool shot there silhouette of the farm. I like that. Burr. Here's another. I guess I'm learning that you can tell the buggy's coming when they have those flashing yellow lights above it. It's interesting. It's safer, that's for sure. There's the Amish U place. It's pretty at night, too. Another buggy, be careful, honey. The good thing about YouTube, I don't know if you know this, but you can actually slow down the speed at which you watch these videos. Either, mm, I'm not sure you can do it live, but you can go back and slow it down. So if you see a buggy going by me and it's like, vroom, real fast, you can actually go back and slow it down. I do that sometimes. Another buggy up here. Lee Cut Coleman Center. Camping gear and stoves and fireplaces. So here's another one. I'll try to actually get the side view if I can. Just slow down a little bit maybe. Well, be careful. Oh, this makes me so nervous. <laughs> you can't see that at all. <laughs> too fast. But back there we passed the Amish Country Motel, which I believe is part of the Burden Hand Corporation. I think they own that hotel. Another vacation home. There's a lot of vacation homes around here, by the way. If you just look up, like Airbnb or, um, what's the other one called? Oh, look at that sunset. It's so pretty. The car lights are ruining my sunset. <laughs> oh, I love seeing the silos in the um, foreground of a sunset. That's really cool looking. Gosh, there's another buggy. I'm good. It's kind of surprised at how many are out at nighttime. But it is Sunday, and this is their visiting day, so they're out seeing their family and friends. But that's a really pretty shot. Now, the power lines I could do without. We're about to pass them, though. Can you see that windmill down there? That's pretty neat. If I can zoom into that. Can you see it? Right there. Tiny middle of the screen. Ah, that's cool. A windmill sunset shot. I love it. And here we are at. Um, bird hand again. There's a bird hand family restaurant. Oh, it's so pretty. Just slowed down slightly. Oh, look at the lights. Looks so nice. Peace on earth. <laughs> um, over here is the bakery. And there's a coffee shop over here. That's part of the bakery. Oh, sorry. Whoa, that's really bad filming. <laughs> sorry. 
Uh, so that's the Burnham Village Inn and Suites. Those are like um, more like bed and breakfast type rooms. They're more expensive, but they're you know a bigger, kind of like a bed and breakfast feel. I would say. I've seen pictures. I've not been inside. There's another buggy. I'm always sad when I'm leaving. <laughs> it was over already. Already, <laughs> I know. Seems like we just got here. We've been streaming this for 93 minutes. That was actually really impressive. That was good. Another buggy. If you've never been on a buggy ride, I highly suggest it. It's extremely relaxing. It's really fun. I love it. Well, I'm just glad I got to come here today. It's been a busy week visiting with family and stuff, which I love. So I wasn't sure we'd get back here today, but we did. My husband's a good guy. He came out here with me just to, just the two of us. Left all the children at home <laughs> with the grandparents. That was a sacrifice. <laughs> They're having their own fun. Okay, it's getting less and less exciting the longer we get to 30. <laughs> I mean, the sooner, closer. Oh, it's pretty. There's little lights there. So here's 896 again. If you take a left here, it takes you the whole way down to, um, well, you'll pass, you'll go across 30, but then you'll get to Sight and Sound, Hershey Farm, Amish Village. It'll take you to Strasburg. That's why I love this road, because the road is like kind of the middle ground between a lot of places that I love. The 896 is kind of like the connecting road between Bird and Strasburg. So. Good to know when you're traveling around here. There's Turkey Hill. Local gas station. I went down the road from my house all my lifetime moved away. Okay. Sheets. Sheets versus Wawa. If you're a Pennsylvania slash New Jersey slash Maryland person, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that activity scene. It's so pretty. Wow, good job, DJs. Taste of the 50s restaurant. Good job of your activity scene. I've never been to DJs either, by the way. Well, there's a pretty sunset, too. That's pretty out there. Um, see the candles in the window? That's what I'm talking about. I love the candles. I'm sorry if I missed any of your comments. It's hard, they pop up for like five seconds and then they go away. And if I'm trying to like look around at the, to make sure I'm getting stuff on this phone, like looking around the, the car, the, the scenes, I'm missing them. So if I miss your comment, I'm sorry. I'll go look back at them and, or just repeat yourself. <laughs> That's probably the better way to do that. Well, I think we might be officially Outside of there's leg and sermon and light school, Christmas lights. So from here, about to get on 30 to York, and where we live in York, it's about a 45 minute drive. Oh, there's Uncle Leroy's Candy Kitchen. I forgot this was here. So we're not quite out of Amish country because that's. If you can see that, but said Uncle Leroy's Candy Kitchen. Lancaster Archery back there. That's interesting. Some pretty lights. Boo hoo, we're almost done. This video will end up posting on my channel and if you have questions about it you can always leave them in the comments if I didn't get to them when you were on here and I will answer them in there so please feel free to do that <laughs> well this is pretty exciting we did a 97 let's just stay on to 100 minutes because then it's cool to say that you did a 100 <laughs> minute stream 
We're almost there, Dan. Was it two and a half minutes? Three and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes, and we'll be able to say we did a hundred minutes of live streaming in Amish country. That's just too much fun for me. <laughs> So if you ever were to drive from the very northwest corner of Lancaster, which is pretty much like Elizabethtown near the Turnpike, near Harrisburg Airport, almost that far, the whole way down to the southeastern tip, I don't actually know this, but I bet, it, I bet it's almost an hour. I bet it's at least 45 minutes. It's a very huge county. It's a lot to see. Probably why people keep coming back here because there's so much to see and you can't get it all done in one weekend. I'm not sure I could even do it in one week, honestly. There's a lot of repeat customers in Lancaster because there's so much to do here. All right. Now we're getting on the highway, so now it's actually going to be boring, but <laughs> we got five seconds to where we No, wait, I can't read the, the numbers are too small. Okay. <laughs> one minute. And then we're signing off because in one minute it was going to be 100 minutes. <laughs> I'm surprised that you guys are still hanging out. You're troopers. Troopers, troopers. So this is the highway part of 30. If we were going the other way on 30, which is east. You would actually go through like Lancaster and like Dust Wonderland and Millers and Deaners. It's the same road, just that it becomes less of a highway going the opposite direction. If you stay on this road, though, you're going to end up going to the Susquehanna River and to York County, which is where we're going. All right, five seconds, four, three, two, one. 100 minutes, hooray! We did it. <laughs> well thank you for tuning in and joining us today we had so much fun being in Amish country together and so glad that some of you had fun too it was it's a wonderful place to be and unlike anywhere else so I'm glad that you were along with us and I hope you had fun and if you want to leave me comments later about what your favorite stuff was I would love to hear it and then or what you want to see next time we do this which will be a while because we're leaving to go home in a couple days but it was a great day Thanks for tuning in. See you later, David. Bye, everybody. Happy New Year. Hope 2022 is a great one.